on. Go, 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 go. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm back at the small camera because even though I really am starting to get the hang of the bigger camera, Chino, the battery, like the camera keeps turning off and I know it's not the battery, we have so many batteries for that camera, keeps turning off. I set it to disable it turning off and it just keeps, it just keeps turning on. Chino's like, stop talking! <laughs> okay, food is coming, Mr. Man. Oh, Sophie's got the food. It smells good. Yeah. All right. So uh, today, open, uh, open right now, I'm shooting on the little camera. Stay. Wow, you made a mess. All right, good morning, Penny Pickle. So last night, we put all the horses out together on grass, and it was fabulous. Fabulously sad. All the mares were eating grass together, all best friends. And there was Chino, all by himself. And then when Chino was ready to come in, he just went to the gate. As soon as Willow sees Chino, she squeals. Yeah, as soon as Willow sees Chino, she squeals. She's right there. I know. So since Chino came, the girls are in heat. That was and, they, and they just poop right in the middle of the doorway. Normally, they all go down there to poop. So. We like when you go down there to poop. Yeah, go down there and poop. So welcome to today. I saw a bunch of comments about... Um, how's Gabby doing? How's like what happened this like we didn't share the whole story about Gabby's fall I even had a comment of a girl who said like it may be it did it just sounded like the horse rolled over on top of Gabby And that's not a true rotational fall. I don't know. It looked like a rotational fall to us Gabby showed the video to a lady at the barn the first night when the other night when Sophie had her lesson and the mom at the barn cried like watched the video and just was crying and I was like what happened with us like even the people that were there were so affected by Gabby's fall like it was such a bad fall and that's why I didn't want to share it you guys like whether you consider it was a bad fall we considered it a bad fall Gabby lost consciousness that was to us that's a bad fall I'm so glad I didn't show that video. Like, you can't unsee that. Like, you cannot unsee it. But anyway, today, we're gonna try and talk to Gabby and see how she's feeling. I've been able to see her change as the days go on and as she recuperates. Like, at first, it was so different. She was, like, she seems normal enough, but then as she progresses, you can look back and see, wow, she really wasn't in her right frame of mind. But people wanna know, is Gabby gonna get back on the horse? Is she gonna ride Lily again? And, how is she feeling about the whole thing? So, uh, I'm gonna try and get her to answer some of those burning questions for you guys. And she I probably will. And I wanna say thank you guys so much for all your kindness, your concern, your, like I got so many message from people, messages from people saying such amazing kind words for us and sharing their own story of their own rotational fall. And I think it's so important that we all support one another in any situation where we're struggling. And I think that you guys have really done that for us, and I thank you. Also, I think it's really important for Gabby and Sophie to be able to have a say in their lives, things that affect them. I couldn't care less if my kids stopped riding today and said, I can't do it anymore, this is not for me. Like, what they wanna do is what we're gonna do. And I'll explain more about that a little bit later as we get to the other barn and see a chanty boy. So before Penny goes out today, I'm washing her down. I washed her down last night too. But sometimes when girls go in heat and they pee all over themselves, it can make them like so super sore. Ugh. So I wash her back end and then I try and wash her legs down. But mostly up here where like all the sensitive skin is, I don't know if you guys can see. And then in the back here, she's so used to this, but right underneath her thighs here. To be honest, that's where she gets the most sore. And if you leave it, they can get sores and stuff. We've been lucky. She's easy to clean, so she's been okay. Okay, wait, listen, I need you to hold Penny for a sec. While I show you what we're gonna do, I need you to hold Miss Penny Pickle. They're ready to go out. 
I'm going to show you the fly spray system that we just got. Yeah, you were around them. Well, this is a whole system. So, hold Miss Penny, and then I'll show you. So, yesterday we bought this fly spray. It's called White Fly Spray, and I did not want to buy it because I said I told the people at the store. I'm like, I'm just going to put a spray bottle in that and spray it on them. And the lady that recommended it, like I love going to the tax store and people come in and tell me their expertise because I believe it. Like when horse people say this is what works, I always believe them because no horse person wants to spend wasted money, right? So basically, she said that some fly sprays have to be used up right away as soon as you like I don't know. I don't know what she was saying. But anyway, she says that after she uses the fly spray, she keeps the cloth in a container so that she's not wasting the fly spray that she uses on the cloth. So I'm going to see what happens with Penny. Give her, oh, okay, hold on. Penny, it's just a cloth. It's just fly spray. Just fly spray, my love. So... She says it works a lot better if you rub it in. You can feel it on my hand. It's definitely an oil-based spray. I just don't know how much you have to use. She's like, what's happening to me? She's in heat, so she's anytime. <laughs> she's in heat, that should explain it. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more on this cloth. I really am excited to see how this fly spray works though. I can see it on her skin, to be honest. She says that it lasts much longer, works so much better, and I'm into it. <laughs> I am into it. She says what she does is she throws the cloth back in the container, puts the lid on so that the cloth is always, like all the stuff you have on the cloth that's saturated, you, you don't waste. And just wait, I want to show them. Can you guys okay, see? Well, can you see the shiny? Can you see it? I don't know if you guys can see it. I can see it. I should bring some out for, for Chino too. But anyway, I was able to put it on their noses. Uh-oh, you stay, uh-oh. Okay, hold on here. But I was able to, like you can see where it is and she says to rub it into their skin. And so I did. Where we live on our little farm, the flies don't really come until the end of July, the beginning of August. And I noticed the last two times we took the horses out of the field that they actually had flies on their nose. We don't have a lot of flies here. You guys can see. Like, thankfully, because of this like arena, because it's not a super developed farm with poop sitting everywhere all the time, um, we don't have a lot of flies yet. But they do <laughs> Yes, we're going. But they do come. Oh, Gabby's here. But they do come, I put on the new fly spray, Gabby. But they do, yeah, she can smell it, she says. Don't step on my straw. <laughs> Don't step on her straw. Gabby needs coffee. <laughs> Penny's going down the path. It's the path, she makes the path. I don't know if you guys see, but there's a path and they've made it. Aw. Our friends got a new horse trailer and I love it. And just seeing ours reminds me that even though it's like not beautiful, I love it. And maybe we should give it a facelift. What do you guys think? Anyway, I sent the girls up to the house because I wanted to take a minute and explain something. For all the people who express concern over the hate about Gabby's fall, I just wanted to tell you guys our perspective. Every single time you share something like a fall or something where you're not perfect, you guys know it always opens you up to criticism and other people having a say and wanting to have a say and lots of times people will lie you guys saw people are saying that people have been sending me things saying like your kids fall every other week when in fact our kids haven't fallen 
Sophie in a year and a half, Gabby in a year, and before that, Gabby, Gabby hardly ever falls. So, um, so many mistruths, untruths, and but people will say them. And every time you share something that makes you vulnerable, there are people that will profit or benefit off of your failure in some way. Some people, um, it makes them feel better to see you fail, and some people feel genuinely hurt when you make choices that weren't made for them. And I'll, I'll give you an example. Like, we always respect our kids' feelings and their choices. We let them have a say. And for a lot of people, that's not been the case for them. And so for a child who's not been respected or taken seriously during situations like a bad fall or just anytime strong emotions play a part, a child who has never felt respected or heard may feel real pain and real hurt when they see another child being respected and cared for and treated kindly when they have strong emotions like after a fall. Um, and some people call it jealousy, but I really don't believe that it's jealousy. I really truly believe that oftentimes seeing someone have a basic human emotion like care and kindness from a parent can be so painful to someone who was who was um who didn't get that growing up or during their life and was raised completely differently and sometimes it's confusing sometimes they don't understand and sometimes it causes real pain and causes them to lash out but i want you to know this every single one of us is at a different point in our journey a different point of awareness a different part of spiritual growth and just because someone is making mistakes and making up lies and saying stories that aren't true and setting out rumors and trying to uh, bring us down and make us feel bad doesn't mean that they're bad. It does, I believe, they just don't know better yet. And, and all of us struggle in some area and even I know better than to do that. I know better than to say awful things about people uh, whether I feel they're true or not. Everybody has got there and I was once not there. Like I was not once not at this in this position to feel um, to be as understanding and to be as kind and I still struggle like there are times where I think man Laura You could have handled that way better and all of us are the same, but I always want to be the person that understands and Accepts people for who they are and where they are right now And that's why I urge you anybody who sent me messages and said like holy heck people are making up lies and people are saying this and You should get mad and I want you to know that it's not about getting mad. It's about understanding It's about understanding that we're all at different places and that where you are right now. It's okay It's okay to make up lies about people and say mean things even though it seems like it shouldn't be if that's where you are right now It's okay it's okay to be learning and growing and developing. It's okay to not be perfect and it's okay to, and it's okay to be growing and it's okay to be making mistakes. The important thing is that we all learn today from what happened yesterday. What the heck? I looked over and they were all running. Poor Chino, he just wants to eat. He just wants to eat. He's got three girls stuck to his butt. <laughs> so we are at the barn and we have Can Mr. Chancy Pants. And we're going to explain a couple of things for people, inquiry minds want to know. Look at those legs. Look at that normal looking bum. So, I, don't, I didn't bring the proper shoes. So basically, we still lease this boy, like we paid in advance. So it's not like we can just say, oh, we don't want to lease him anymore and it's done. Why do you keep on getting more bites on you? Yeah, what are you doing there, Mr. Man? I'm cleaning his bum, and he's like, oh, thank you so much. We got yeah. a, we got uh, a some special the new bug spray for you. Look at his hips. All filled in. Also, I have a chiropractor appointment for him that I already planned, pre-planned. I got a horse slobber on my thumb. Yeah, he's really slobbering. Take your slobber back. <laughs> this is what we do, he's, guys. Yeah, you gotta give him a nice brush. We're gonna cool him down, put some bug spray on him. Let him play a little inside, get him out of the dirt, out of the stuff, do his feet. So essentially, he's still our lease horse, and we don't know what is going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. And now we slap, not slap, we don't slap our friends. Snapped back Elizabeth. So in, a, in the previous video, I said that Sophie doesn't want to lease him anymore because when she saw something really sc scary happen, she was on him. She was on him and she transferred all that fear. And I think what happened was that 
she realized that if Lily can have an accident like that, that if this guy, that she doesn't, tr I think she doesn't trust this guy if in the case of an accident like that. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Like she just doesn't know. But anyways, hi. <laughs> hi. I still really love him. I still really like him. I don't know what's gonna happen. We're just gonna let things happen. We're still, he's still our least boy right now. We still love him. Don't We're still taking me. care of him. I don't appreciate that. If she gets on him again, that's her choice. But <laughs> in a recent video, I said that I normally don't believe that a child should have one scare on a horse and then you sell it. I don't think that she should have one time that she's scared and because she's scared, say I'm gonna sell my horse or I'm gonna end the lease. Like, I don't think that that's okay. If that were the okay, then every time a kid got scared, every time a kid had a fall, you'd sell a horse. There would be a lot of horses for sale. I think that sometimes you have to work through stuff, but I also listen to my kids. I listen to them, I hear them, but more importantly, I want them to feel heard. Like, I want Sophie to feel heard. Like, I want her to know that if she's scared, she can tell me. If she wants to end the lease, I've told her right from the beginning, you know, this is a young guy. If you don't feel comfortable ever, one single time, you tell me if you want to end the lease. Like, she, I am always going to be the kind of parent that listens to my kids. And so, while I don't think that one fear should ever end the, the life of a horse or end your choice to be with a horse, I think people should try and work through things. If she's scared or if she doesn't feel that he's the right one for her, then I'm going to listen to that. That is the kind of parent that I am. And... It doesn't matter if people misunderstand the things, misunderstand how I said it. It's Sophie's choice. It's always been Sophie's choice. Abby, how do you feel about getting back in the saddle? I can't wait. Really? And are you going to ride Lily ever again? Because people... Yes, I'm not scared. You're not scared? No. Did being passed out help? <laughs> High five! No. It being too fast to process any emotion helped. It being Because it happened so fast? Yeah. And faster for Gabby even because she was passed out. <laughs> I've almost flipped my horse over so many times because of if you take offs and landings. Yeah, because it happened because it was she took a long over a low oxer and she was jumping a low jump too. And she was fat and out of shape, so I made it. She was going fast enough and I pushed for it. Yeah, and I was not pushing for the long. Yeah, but live She's and learn, and you fall. learn from every fall like that. You learn from your falls. So I'm proud of you, Gabby. I'm excited. She plans to ride her on Monday. I feel every single inch of pain, but Gabby doesn't. She just feels bruised. Yeah. So we're going to clean his feet, give him a wash, a brush, play with him a little, and then bug spray him. Would you stay to the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Stay with me now till the morning light Before you turn away I just want you to know That I didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind That I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just let